What's up everybody? I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine and today's video Garlic, Parmesan, mashed potatoes. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you've come to the right place. Click that subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video is another in our Thanksgiving series and I'm gonna show you a little spin on mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. We have it every year. I like to make some gravy and put that over the top and don't worry, next week we're gonna to get to the gravy we're gonna get to some stock. We're gonna get to some turkey, all that good stuff. It's coming up. I'm gonna try to get them out pretty quick so that you guys will have them in enough time before Thanksgiving if you decide to go ahead and try some of these recipes. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to the kitchen. All right, this is a pretty simple recipe. Of course, we're gonna need potatoes. This is a mashed potatoes recipe. And we're gonna need some heavy cream, salt and pepper, a little garlic, Parmesan cheese and some unsalted butter. I will go ahead and leave the exact recipe in the description box below All right, we're gonna start off by getting some water to a boil and I'm gonna add about Three teaspoons of kosher salt to that and then we're gonna add our potatoes And as you can tell I went ahead and peeled them cut them into cubes because they're they'll boil faster And we just want to boil them down till they get about fork tender. We don't want them just falling apart. Okay So now while that's boiling we're gonna go ahead and melt down a stick of butter and once we get this stick of butter melted down, we're going to add our garlic. And then we're going to cook our garlic down for maybe, you know, two, three minutes or so. Uh, we just want to go ahead and get this uh, garlic to release all its flavor and flavor the butter. So now we're going to cut the heat and let that cool. And while we're doing that, the potatoes are done. So we're going to strain the potatoes. And we're just going to let them sit here in the sink and uh, cool off and drain. We don't want them too wet. So while that's going on, I have put the heat back on this butter and we're going to start whisking in our cream. So we're going to go ahead and uh, whisk this well to get it nice and incorporated with the butter. And then once we do that, we will start to add our uh, little bit of salt, maybe a teaspoon or so, and some fresh cracked black pepper. And once we get that in there, we'll give it a good mix. And then we'll go ahead and uh, start putting in our Parmesan cheese about a minute and a half or so later, you know, once the cream comes up to temp. So we're going to melt this cheese in here. So once we get it in there, we'll give it a good mix until that cheese is melted. And then we're going to turn the heat down to low just so that it'll keep temperature. All right, I just wanted to go ahead and pause for a second to talk a little bit about this kitchen tool that I'm going to be using to make these mashed potatoes. Just in case there's a few of you out there that aren't familiar with one of these. This is a food mill. Very inexpensive. I think it cost me like 10 bucks. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below uh, to Amazon, which is exactly where I bought it from. And what this is, is I'm going to be placing the potatoes in here. You crank this little thing. They come out the bottom right here, right? And it almost looks like spaghetti. This makes the most silkiest, smooth mashed potatoes I've ever had. Very restaurant style mashed potatoes. Um, I use it for sauces, all kinds of different things. Um, I use it when I make my barbecue sauce. Uh, very simple to take apart and put together to clean. It comes with uh, two other discs, you know, a medium sized one and a large. It can use for all kinds of different things. Very good for sauces. I make um, one of the five mother sauces out of this, a tomato sauce. Um, excellent, excellent. I think uh, not another cooking show recently did a video on uh, a pasta that he was making and, and, and with his tomato sauce he did the same thing he used one of these little food mills these things are great um, I would, like I said I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in one of these look for 10 bucks it's a must-have in your kitchen all right you can't go wrong with it like I said the versatility of it and what I found myself using it for I use this thing all the time at least two three times a week uh, when I'm cooking so if you like to cook like I do this is definitely a tool you want to have in your arsenal let's go ahead and get back to the video 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the potatoes to the food mill. Now, if you're making a lot of potatoes, you wanna go ahead and do this in stages. Now, once I get the uh, potatoes in there, we're just gonna start working it. And you're gonna start off by just kinda of going back and forth until you get the potatoes nice and broke down. And it starts to get easier as you go. But eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna start pushing those potatoes out through the bottom, as you can see here. And then uh, it'll start getting a little easier as you go. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take a spoon and just kinda of scrape down the sides, make sure we get as much potato into that pot as we possibly can. And then uh, we're just gonna keep working it in, uh, until we're done. So uh, once we get to that point, what we'll do is we'll scrape off the bottom of the food mill, get all those hanging bits down there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that butter garlic cream sauce that we made. And then once we get that in there, what we wanna do is just make sure it's well incorporated. You don't wanna over mix your potatoes. You just wanna make sure that the cream and the potatoes are mixed well. And then from here, we're all done. We're just gonna go ahead and plate up and serve. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, garlic Parmesan mashed potatoes. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget, earlier when I mentioned the food mill, that link is down below in the description. Go ahead and get you one of those. Great tool, I love mine. Also, if you've noticed, each week, if you've been here for a little while, you see me wearing this West Coast Cajun Cuisine t-shirt. I have them for sale, along with a bunch of other swag down there. I'd really appreciate it if you guys are interested. Go check that out. Any purchases you make, all the proceeds go right back into the channel so that I can purchase more food and different things like that so I can bring you more videos. If you guys are interested in seeing me do more uh, cooking uh, utensil and tools uh, kind of reviews, let me know down in the comments below. I'll start setting up some of those videos. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscription button and that notification bell. And by the way, since you're already here, go ahead and check out another video on the channel and I'll see you there.